في استقبالك يا ملك المجد لبيسة البيعة أبهى حلاها لأنك آت حسب الوعد هللويا في استقبالك يا ملك المجد لبيسة البيعة أبهى حلاها لأنك آت حسب الوعد هللويا تنهض بالشوق إلى الموعد تدعوها لتصعد إلى العيد في استقبالك يا ملك المجد لبست البيعة أبهى حلاها لأنك آت حسب الوعد هللويا بيت خالوه عيلت وقد من بيرو صديق ملكش ما يونو حسوني كل دا أحطي ملكش ما يونو حسون الخلدة طلعوا علي ميتوا المرا قالوا هون قابل قربونوخ نترحم علين با Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts, that dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. We're on page 12 in the book that's in your hands. <clears throat> o hidden and exalted Lord Jesus Christ, you came down from heaven and dwelt in the womb of the Virgin Mary for our salvation. You visited John, your forerunner, while he was still in his mother's womb. In your mercy, visit our souls and bodies that may praise you with purity and glorify you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. 
Please build the church and her children. كهني لنرفع عنا التسبيح والمجد والإكرام إلى ابن الآب العلي الذي امتلأت السماوات من عظمته وتدفقت على الأرض خيراته وقد شاء برحمته أن يحتويه حش مريم الطاهر بارخ موربون رش كهني The good one be glory and honor on this Sunday and all the days of our lives and forever Amen. Glory to you, O Eternal Son, born of the Father before all ages. At the appointed time, you became flesh of the Virgin Mary in a mysterious way beyond our understanding. O King of kings and Savior of the world, you left the throne of your glory and became man. No mind can comprehend such humility and no tongue can describe it. Your mother took you to the hills of Judea while you were still in her womb. And there you met John, filling him with the joy of your Holy Spirit. And then the hills were filled with joy and gladness. We implore you with the fragrance of this incense and with the children and the angels cry out. Glorify the Lord our God and praise him forever. Now with John, we ask you to shower your mercy upon us. Assist us with your strength. Enlighten us with your teaching and help us to know you. Make us worthy with our departed to stand at your right hand in your heavenly dwellings. That we may raise the glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed be Christ who came to John while in the womb. John rejoiced when he had heard his master's voice. O God of peace, you reconcile the heights and the depth. Now we ask you to accept the fragrance of our incense and establish peace among all nations of the earth and among the children of your church. Extend the right hand of your mercy upon us and upon our departed Baruch Morish Kohne. Let me glorify you, your Father, and your Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
and immortal Lord, sanctify our minds and purify our consciences, that may praise you with purity and listen to holy scriptures to be glory forever. المجلس سيد الأنبياء والأباء والتحل مراهم الله على القارئ والسامعين وعلى هذا الرعي وأبناء المؤمنين إلى الأبد وخاف داود من الرب في ذلك اليوم وقال كيف ينزل تابوت الرب عندي ولم يشأ داود أن يمال إليه بتابوت الرب إلى مدينة داود فأخذه داود إلى بيت عبيد أدوم الجت فبقي تابوت الرب في بيت عبيد أدوم الجت ثلاثة أشهر وبارك الرب عبيد أدوم وكل بيته فأخبر الملك داود وقيل له أن الرب قد بارك عبيد أدوم وكل ما له بسبب تابوت الله فمضى داود وأصعد تابوت الله بفرح من بيت عبيد أدوم إلى مدينة داود ولما خط حاملو تابوت الرب ست خطوات ذبح ثورا وعجلا مسمنا وكان داود يرقص ويدور على نفسه بكل قوته أمام الرب وكان داود متمنطقا بأفود من كتان وأصعد داود وكل بيت إسرائيل تابوت الرب بالهتاف وصوت البوق وأدخلوا تابوت الرب وأقاموه في مكانه في وسط الخيمة التي نصبها له داود وأصعد داود محرقات أمام الرب وذبائح سلامية وبارك الشعب باسم رب القوات كلام الرب A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Saigna, please give me your blessing. Glory be to the Lord of Paul and the apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader, the listeners, and upon this person who has them forever. an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the holy ones who are in Ephesus, faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Christ Jesus, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. 
in all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with the favor that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven, and on earth. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory we hope, first hoped in Christ. In him you also who have heard the word of truth in the gospel of your salvation and have believed in him were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. Praise be God always. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. The evangelist Luke writes, During those days Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Your blessing, Excellency. This is the truth. Peace be with you.
Good morning. The election is here. I should be stacking first. I would like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. First, for your presence among us today, it speaks volume, and for your great welcome to Father Joe and to us as a community, Maronite community in your archdiocese as well. For your accommodation to us in many ways. We really grateful for everything you've been doing and you still do for us. Thank you. And as John Paul II said, the church breathes with two lines. Your presence today, the East and West, is perfect. And we talk about two women meeting as well. Thank you again for your presence. Thank you. And Deacon Anton, thank you for organizing and accommodating our schedules as well. We appreciate it in so many ways. And for the tradition of St. John the, the Baptist. Today we talk about John the Baptist still in the room. I'm going to say thank you to every one of you as well for welcoming us, our community, and for being also open. And Father Joe is here to serve you and love you and all of us as a community. So that together we're here to honor God and praise Him. And together we join hands in building up the kingdom of God in a very unique way. God bless you and take care of you. Today's gospel and meeting, in our Maronite tradition, we call it the season of announcement, the season of the joy, preparing for the coming of Christ. And that's why we've been excited in so many ways as well. I know the stores and, and everything from Thanksgiving and everything, and they have a special, you know, like Friday, Cyber Monday, and everything, and it entices the people, excite them to come and buy gifts and whatever they need. And, the, you know, they decorate and make it so festive in so many ways. It's up to us in a special way to make our souls so festive and ready to receive Christ as well. And today we see the meeting of two ladies, pregnant ladies with two babies in their wombs. And many compare those as the meeting of the Old Testament and the New Testament. Elizabeth representing the Old Testament, who was a spirit, they need a special grace to become and open and prepare the way for the New Testament, we find fulfillment in Jesus Christ himself. And here, Mary, after she heard from the Archangel Gabriel that her relative Elizabeth will have a baby, she went to come and sister served her because she knew she needed her in so many ways. In tradition in the Middle East, the mother always will go to assist the daughter whenever she wants to deliver. Since Elizabeth was up in age, probably her mother already died. That's why Mary felt, you know, she needs to go and assist because Elizabeth won't have anybody to meet and to help her and assist her. This is the reason of going all the way from Nazareth to Hankari, the suburb of Jerusalem, like six miles away from Jerusalem, but from Jerusalem as well. And they say, you know, and Mary entered the house, the baby left for joy in her womb. They say, we know that John has baptized Jesus. He baptized Jesus in the water. But Christ baptized John before, when he was still in the womb of his mother, St. Ephraim said. He baptized him with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, you know, when John was still in the womb of his mother, he was baptized by Jesus himself when he came. Mary bringing Jesus to Elizabeth and to the baby John. From that perspective, that meeting of two women and two babies in their womb, and meeting of the two covenants, the old covenant was built on the law. And the new covenant will be from himself, Jesus himself, giving himself for all of us, based on love, on sacrifice, redemption. And this is the way, ushering the new way for all of us to go. It's amazing that the line between Elizabeth and Mary, you know, that Mary after that, my soul proclaimed the greatness of the Lord, what he did on other time. But Elizabeth praising, and we repeat those words, in the Hail Mary, the second part, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And from that perspective, 
we realize that those words, they carry a lot because Mary stands for somebody who's, who had faith, who believed, who trusted, and who is ready to serve. Instead of being the mother, the honor and everything, I am the servant of the Lord. I'm here to serve my motherhood and my honor and everything and to serve Jesus himself and to say God's people as well in so many ways. What does this gospel teach us today? What this is all about? First thing in our own life, we visit a lot. Now, instead of visiting in person, we use a lot of text messages. We're, we're good in text messaging today on WhatsApp and, and everything. And text. We send messages. But what kind of messages do we send to each other? And what kind of presence we bring to each other as well? Is it the presence of joy, messages of joy and happiness, or message of, oh, I don't know, anything but Jesus Christ, anything but God? I hope you and I, whenever we go, we bring Christ to others. The Blessed Mother, they call her the first tabernacle, the first because she carried Jesus in her womb. She brought him to others. I hope you and I, we bring Christ to others as well. And in the reading from the Old Testament, talk about the Ark of Covenant during the time of David. He was afraid to take him to his city. And the minute he stayed and obeyed home, lots of blessings and the graces came. And this is the way, whenever Christ is, he brings lots of blessings to all of us. The second thing, when we visit others, are we visiting to gossip? Or are we visiting and to speak about the weather and about things? Or are we visiting to serve others in their needs? I hope our presence is a presence of service as well. And I call service is love, tangible love, love in action. It's not lip service anymore. I'm living the love that God has asked me to do to my brothers and sisters. I hope. We learn from Mary and Elizabeth today, first to thank God for so many grace and blessings he has bestowed upon us, and to really bring a lot of joy and happiness and ready to serve others in, in a special way. I want today, in a special way, we're going to unveil at the end and bless the shrine of St. Sherbin, who is a saint from Lebanon, who lived close to cedars of Lebanon, they mentioned a lot in the Bible. But he died also Christmas Eve. And interesting about, we we'll talk about the two women and two communities, St. John the Apostle, and, uh, St. John the Baptist, and, and uh, St. Sherbin Maronite Mission, the two communities together. And in that shrine we have in that, we have it, the Blessed Mothers and the beautiful Valley murals of Wisconsin reflecting. And St. Sherbin reflecting that to bring that richness of our faith in, in every way. So whatever we are, we're here to honor God and serve him and honor him as well. From that perspective, it's good. St. Shabbat lived a man who was totally dedicated to God in every way. And St. Shabbat is a priest giving communion and sacrificing himself for us. He died, by the way, while he was, he collapsed when he was saying Mass. And, and he went, this is one of the greatest breaking the Eucharist and everything. And at the time he was hermit, he never traveled. And now you see St. Shab all over the world and a lot of miracles happening through his intercession. I hope these, all those beautiful occasions bring a special joy to everyone, to all our communities as well. Thank you again. God bless you. And may you have, as we prepare for Christmas, when we bring the joy of Christmas to everyone we meet, you and I, from now, not just on Christmas Day, but every day of our life. Amen. We're on page 24. We believe in one God, the oh, Father God Almighty. Almighty.
is in heaven. He will come again. Itilwot mad pedalo dam hadi talu we no sugo taibuto e aulil baito wizro de baiklo otu dahlto khmorio da barain wa bzadi buto kha antifai Allah wa ay mad mo Almighty Lord and God, you accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept this offering that your children have brought to you out of the love for you and for your holy name. Shower your special blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life in your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those that pleased God from Adam to this day especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Mary, St. John the Baptist, St. Cherbil, St. Ramtallah, St. Elizabeth. Remember God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered, for the living and deceased members of this parish community, for anyone who asks us to pray for them, for peace in the world, and peace in our hearts, peace in our own families, and for all the special prayers we hold in our own hearts. Remember also those who share with us today in this offering. Yan 
We're on page 30. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Merciful and holy Lord and Father, to your only begotten Son, you have prepared this special banquet for us. Accept the offering of this and bloody sacrifice, and grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit. Make us worthy to give one another the greet of peace with pure hearts and divine love, that we may raise the glory and thanks to you. To your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace, the altar of God. Peace is the holy mystic place upon you. Peace. Let us give the greeting of peace to our neighbor Amen. with love and faith that are pleasing to God. To يحفظ قلوبكم وأفكاركم بالمسيح يسوع السلام لكم جميعا أنتم
love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion dwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. Amen. 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 Your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship Him with humility. It is right to trust. Truly it is right and just to glorify and praise you, O God, the Father, for you are holy and the giver of life. You are blessed with your only begotten Son and your, and your living Holy Spirit. You are surrounded by the cherubim and seraphim who sing with pure voices and heavenly melodies. They cry out, glorify, and proclaim. Kutu
church. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, now we have all people who remember your plan of salvation, and we ask you to have mercy on your worship, and to save your inheritance when you appear at the end of time, to reward all people justly according to their deeds. For this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Mercy on us, Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your grace, we thank you for them, and because of them, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. of peace who brings true joy and everlasting peace to all he in, who enco encounter to you. Fill our world with the spirit of your joy and may your peace be a reality among our nations, in our families and in our hearts. We pray for an end to war, violence and hatred in our world, especially our country in Europe and in the Middle East. May all the civil authorities recognize the dignity of each, each human person, advance the respect due to all human life, and work for establishing peace on earth. And may God's mercy and consolation surround all those suffering. Through the intercession of St. John the Baptist and St. Sherbel, we pray to you, O Lord. O Lord. Remember, O Lord, on this special day, the members of St. Charbel Mission, the parishioners of St. John the Baptist Church, and of all the KR Catholic parishes, as well as our benefactors and our guests who have joined us today. May we always be united in faith and charity and grow and prosper in your love 
as one Catholic and apostolic church under the guidance of our beloved bishops, Jerome and Elias, and through the intercession of St. John the Baptist and St. Charbel, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. نتسابق على شراية بيوت على الأرض ومننسى تيكون بيتنا الأحسن والأحلى والأكبر وكرمال هيك نصرف مصاري وتعب وجهد كتير خلينا اليوم يا رب نتعلم من القديس شربل والقديس يوحنا المعمدان كيف نحضر ليكون عنا بيت بالسماء وبدل ما نهدر طاقتنا على بيوت فانية على الأرض نستثمر بشكل أساسي على البيوت يلي حضرنا إياها ابنك يسوع هو يلي قال عند أبي منازل كثيرة من صلي لك كمان يا رب بهالمناسبة كرمال كل شخص عم يصرف مصاري وتعب وجهد كرمال يكون لنا مزار حلو وبيت بكنيسة مار يوحنا المعمدان تحت اسم مار شربل نسألك يا رب يا رب ورحام Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. We pray to you, O Lord, for everyone who is seeking truth, especially the children and youth. In this world, full of relativism, give them the gift of faith and guide their parents in their role of raising them in the right path so that they may courageously witness what the true faith before their children and lead them to you who are the way, the truth, and the life. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. You have blessed us, O God, with the gift of sanctity. We thank you for such a blessing for saints like John the Baptist and Charbel the Hermit, who have revealed to us the true meaning of your glory through self-denial, humility, and love. Bless us, O Lord, and relieve the suffering of those who are ill among us, according to your divine will, so that they may all glorify your name and praise your divinity. Through our selfless words and actions, along with the Virgin Mary, your mother, and all the saints, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the faithful departed who have left us, the God who led us hoping in you, awaiting that life in the deceased members of this community of St. John the Baptist and St. Shepherd, accept the offerings we present to you on their behalf, and have mercy on them in your kingdom, for our Lord Jesus is without sin. We hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and forgiveness. And forgive the sins we have committed, with or without knowledge. Grant us, Father, to God, and forgive us and the departed that your blessed name may be glorified in us in all sins. In the name of all this Christ, and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As, as it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <laughs> Katsikan tenahani rusu, tafikul kulubu tamti mu shifahu, wa tahlamul yaunu binuri kalmudi, binuri kalmudi, amama katsikar. Nehti fu bilduai, ne dahu besmika nuhawiru samba.
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from the evil one and from his deceitful ways. And do not forsake us, lest temptation overcome us. For yours is the kingdom, with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiven altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. The Lord bless you, faithful people, bow before you, deliver us from all harm and make us worthy to share in these divine mysteries with the future and holiness, that through them we may be forgiven and made holy, and we to glory to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of the water is greater than that of the ascension. Be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And, and with your spirit. Let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask Him for mercy and compassion. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is one in heaven and on earth. To Him be glory forever. So that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord, our God, to you be glory forever. Brothers and sisters, according to the Maronite tradition, we're going to provide communion by intention. Whoever does not like to receive communion in both species, under both species, just open your hands and uh, you receive just the body of Christ. And we're going to have four to provide communion, those upstairs and those who are following on downstairs in the hall, you're going to have a minister to provide you, or two deacons, actually, to provide you with a communion. So stay in your places, and we're going to have bishop and core bishop providing communion here as well.
Your body is our food, indeed, O oh Lord. Your blood is our drink, indeed, O oh Lord. Blessed are they who partake of them both. Your body is our food, indeed, O oh Lord. Your blood is our drink, indeed, O oh Lord. Blessed are they who partake of them both. I am the vine, said the Son of God. You are the branches. Join to me, be as true branches and dwell in me, that you still me fruitful be. Your body is our food, indeed, O oh Lord. Your blood is our dream. Looking for water everywhere, so does my heart also lean on you, you who watch with tender care. Good afternoon. It's already afternoon. Archbishop Jerome, Sayyidna Elias, we thank you so much for greeting us and being with us today. In our gospel passage today, we've noticed that when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb. And I tell you that as soon as we heard that Archbishop Jerome and Bishop Elias are coming to celebrate with us the dedication of St. Sherbel's Shrine to visit us, not only St. Sherbel Mission of Milwaukee or St. John the Baptist Church, but also all the KR Catholic parishes, all the faithful friends and guests, and guests coming from the state of Wisconsin, the state of Illinois, Minnesota, even people beyond our country's limit, we all leaped for joy. In other words, inspired by Elizabeth's greeting, we cannot but exclaim in a loud voice, saying, Blessed is the Lord our God, and blessed are his saints, especially our Virgin Mary, St. John the Baptist, and St. Sherbal. And how does this happen to us, that Archbishop the Archbishop of Milwaukee, and the Bishop of Los Angeles, poor Bishop, 
Very Reverend James, Abu Naimad, Deacon Anton and Deacon Jason, and all my brothers and sisters, he should come to us. How does this happen to us? Blessed are you who believed in our mission and who by your mere presence today, dear archbishops, have made our dream to celebrate our Maronite Catholic faith and offer Jesus Christ to the world through the intercession of St. Sherbel. Blessed are you, KR Catholic parishes, and especially St. John's community, for opening your beautiful church to host our Maronite mission and accepting to have a shrine of our beloved saint inside of it. Blessed are you, St. Sherbel mission members, who trusted in the Lord and for 10 years endured and persevered despite your small number with a faith as small as a mustard seed, but big enough to move the mountains of doubt and uncertainty, proving to everyone that nothing is impossible for those who believe. Blessed are you, dear brethren in Christ, who by celebrating Mass with us and sharing our joy today, you are fulfilling the meaning of being Catholic and hence becoming part of our miracle story. Yes, it's a miracle story and you can read about it on page three in, our, in your booklet. Finally, we are here to tell the world that our true joy resides in Jesus Christ, our God who is above all of us and whose heavenly Father always delights in having his children come together praying, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Sherbal, pray for us. Thank you. I can tell you uh, immediately that uh, I am a, a bishop made a bishop by John Paul II, now St. John Paul. Uh, and one of the great things that John Paul would always say was the fact that the church must breathe with both of its lungs. His reference, of course, was to the, the West and to the East. And it really isn't truly experiencing the entire breath of the church unless both lungs are being utilized. Thanks to my friend Bishop Elias and to his priest, Father Joe, St. John the Baptist here in the Archdiocese of Milwaukee is breathing through both lungs. The fullness of the breath of the church is experienced here. The fullness of the beauty of the liturgies, both in the East and the West, is experienced here. And thanks to the administration of Deacon Anton, uh, who helps uh, coordinate and collaborate with Father Joe, uh, the parish of St. John the Baptist is in good stead. I publicly wish to let you know that when a bishop goes to the, the conference, usually there's all sorts of types of meetings and you meet all uh, the different types and characters that are called bishops and archbishops and cardinals. And I say that with all true sense, the characters that are there. And there was they respect and they, um, uh, they enact different types of, uh, of personalities. I could see immediately with Bishop Elias that this is a person who embodied the joy of being Catholic, the joy of being Christian, the joy of his Maronite community. Uh, he had that type of joy which you would expect to encounter when you would be encountering a truly follower of Christ. He had that Christ-like priestly heart. So when he came to me and he said he wanted to send a priest to establish basically a community here in Milwaukee, an archbishop always worries about what type of priest he's going to send. <laughs> and he sent us a priest that was fashioned in his own heart. And as a result, uh, Father Joe has been nothing but wonderful for the community here at St. John the Baptist, but 
as a priest exercising both, since he can both do both the Eastern and the Western rites, uh, a wonderful connection for us um, uh, through him, through his ministry, through his uh, ability. Well, the wonderful th aspect is that we are uh, today dedicating a shrine, St. Shrine. Uh, and now, on, and it seems uh, the one that we use is John the Baptist, so we've got John the Baptist here in this stained glass right before Jesus. And you know, the interesting thing, just to point out the fact that what did John the Baptist do? He pointed out Christ. He did so in the womb of Mary. And then later when he was baptizing Jesus and later they said, are you the one? No, behold, there's the lamb of God. There's the one. There's the one. I say that because the bishops in the United States have taken it upon themselves to raise us in terms of a Eucharistic revival, an understanding of the importance of the Eucharist and the real presence of Christ. When you go out to the shrine, take a look at how St. Charbel is depicted, holding the Eucharist. And what did he say? The, the great miracle of the sacrament is Christ, who is there for us. This body of Christ, who is given to us, a recognition of the real presence, and really done so at this time. And if you doubt God using his hand to form and fashion, he took a hermit who was supposedly apart from the secular world, put apart and almost in terms of exercising silence, and God took that person and now made him a saint to help guide and direct us to do exactly what John the Baptist was doing centuries ago. There, there is the Christ. There is the living God. There's the one that we worship. I hope uh, in a very particular way that the community here embraces that miracle and understand that that miracle happens every time the priests and community will celebrate and call upon God to be present to them in the real presence of the Eucharist. So to my friend, uh, Bishop Elias, thank you very much for our collaboration and for what you've done for the Archdiocese, for what you've done to, for St. John uh, the Baptist Parish, um, and for what you've done for the church. Um, God will use us as his instrument to proclaim his presence and we are thankful for him sharing his love. Thanks to all of you, this community, for being faithful to our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
عبيت جرن المحبس من دموع عيني يا شرب الكتر ما بحبك ضويت لك عكف ايدي شموع وزرعت قلبي العاشق بقلبك عبيت جرن المحبس من دموع عيني يا شرب الكتر ما بحبك عكف ايدي شموع وزرعت قلبي العاشق بقلبك صرخ معي يا شرب لليسوع وامسك بإيدي طلوع دربك المكان صوتي للسماء مسموع صوتي معك رح يوصل لربك صرخ معي يا شرب يسوع وامسك بإيدي طلوع دربك المكان صوتي للسماء مسموع صوتي معك رح يوصل الرب Oh Lord God you are the creator of all rational and physical creatures and the maker of all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. You have perfected your church here on earth in the likeness of those firstborn whose names are written in the heavenly church in order to serve you, your only Son, and your all Holy Spirit. Be pleased now to let your mighty right hand overshadow this shrine, bless it, and sanctify it for the worship of your most exalted name. May those who call upon you with true faith and sincere hearts obtain the answer to their requests and offer you vows and sacrifices. May they acquire healing for their bodies and salvation for their souls. O oh Lord God, we beseech you to fulfill your precept and complete the promise of your Holy Spirit that your evangelical word may dwell, reach, and take hold of every deed performed and every word uttered in the name of this shrine. Through your only Son, our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, and through his kindness and love for us, with him glory and honor are due to you and to your exalted, life-giving, and consubstantial Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Christ, our God, we beseech you through the prayers of your mother, the blessed apostles, and St. Sherbet, in whose name this statue is fashioned, bless and sanctify it, and those who seek its blessing here and in heaven, where we shall praise and glorify you now and forever. Amen. Uh, hopefully the beautiful shrine here will be a source of grace and blessings to all the people around. I know you do the healing mass every month. May we bring a lot of healing to the people who are requesting the intercession of the Blessed Mother and Saint Chabot. Thank you. And we're going to bless also the small statues of St. Charbel the priest.
which are also unique, uniquely made. And I'm going to ask after that all those who are supposed to have one statue to come forward and receive them so we can get a picture with the Archbishop and Bishop Elias all together. And then all the members of the councils of St. Cherbal Mission are welcome to take a picture as well with all the clergy. O oh Christ our God, we beseech you through the prayers of your mother, the blessed apostles, St. Charbel, in, in whose name these statues are fashioned, bless and sanctify them. And those who seek its blessings here and in heaven, where we shall praise and glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Archbishop, again. I would second that for everything, for your kindness and your support. Thank you. Thank you to the choir and to everybody who has done it. Right, thank you. <laughs> to the servers, to anybody who worked to put this beautiful celebration together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you know yourself, and God knows you as well. May the Lord reward you for everything you've done. God bless you all.
we're just gonna also present a humble gesture for our gratitude to Archbishop and our Bishop Elias for coming to us. A small gesture of St. Cherbel, only the portrait of St. Cherbel as well to take with you so you can always pray for us and remember us in your prayers wherever you go. Thank you again for everyone. Uh, we're still waiting for <laughs> Okay, coming up. Okay. I think it's okay. Thank you very much. Thank فخوره اليوم بهالحدث انه عم بيصير عندنا مزار لمار شربل بهالبلده الصغيره بوسكونسن بيتعرفوا الناس على مار شربل وكل العجائب يلي عم يعملها بهالعالم من عشر سنين جينا نحن وابونا شربل كور بيشوب شربل آه لميلواكي سيليبريت ماس لاول مره 2013 وهلا اني جينا كمان مره ثانيه تنبركلون بعد 10 سنين بالكنيسه الجديده مبروك لاهل ميلواكي وعقبال 100 سنه بهالكنيسه سانت شاربيل ميرنايت ميشن has been a true gift to our parish to have them here to celebrate with us and to celebrate their mass as well in ميرنايت رايت um, it's just an exciting time for us we're very glad to have them here and uh, we hope this uh, relationship continues for a very long time. Thank you. I just want to take this moment and thank everyone that made this day happen. This is a historical day for us. Congratulations to St. Charbel, Mission of Milwaukee. Uh, this, is, this is an amazing day, but we're so excited. It's a dream come true, and it just means so much uh, for us as a small mission to continue building uh, the Church of Our Lord with the intercessions of St. Charbel. Uh, the shrine was a joint effort between St. John and St. Charbel. And we brought it from Lebanon. It was sculpted by the famous Rudi Rahmi, and we are just very, very happy to see it unveiled today. <laughs> بيفرح في كل شخص ان كان بينتمي لمار شربل كنيسه مار شربل بملواكي 
المارونية أو كنيسة ماريوحنا المعمدان اللاتينية لأنه اجتمعوا هالكنيستين من الشرق والغرب من خلال احتفال مميز لتتشين مزار مميز فريد من نوعه مزار القديس شربل الكاهن يلي بيحمل بمعاني أكثر من معنى أولا عادة ورا كل مزار في قصة ولكن مزارنا اليوم هو القصة بذاتها بيحمل قصة لبنان يلي عم بيتزاوج مع منطقة باريس بولاية ويسكونسن الأمريكية لبنان يلي مصور من خلال هالجدارية من فنانة محلية نانسي جازيلا مصور من خلال الجبال الأبيض المكللة بالتولج الأبيض والأرزة أرزة لبنان يلي موجودة بالكتاب المقدس يلي بيحكي عنا المصاحب المزمور الصديق كالنخل يزهر ومثل أرز لبنان ينمو وأكيد دي الشربل هو من هالصديقين الذين نموا مثل أرزة لبنان وبعده عم بكفي بنموه من خلال وصوله للقارة الأمريكانية بذات الوقت عم نشوف في تزاوج بين لبنان ولوحة صيفية من منطقة باريس الأمريكية بولاية ويسكونسن يلي بتتميز بحقول الدرة وشجر القيقب أو الميبل تريز وهالتزاوج هو بدل على تاريخ الإرسالية إرسالية مار شاربل تبع ميلواكي يلي بنسميها سانت شاربل ميشن أوف ميلواكي يلي أنا كاهن رعيتها وبذات الوقت يلي صار لها عشر سنين بهالولاية بويسكونسن بعد عشر سنين صار في عندها مكان تقدر تسميه بيت هوم أوف سانت شاربل ميشن يلي هو كنيسة مار يوحنا المعمدان بضيعة باريس بويسكونسن هالتزاوج بدل على أولا الوحدة بالكنيسة الكاثوليكية بين الشرق والغرب يلي بيحكي عنا البابا يوحنا بولس الثاني وبشبهها للرئتين الكنيسة عليها أن تتنفس برئتيها الشرق والغرب والكنيسة المارونية يلي بترمز للشرق والكنيسة اللاتينية يلي بترمز للغرب عم بصيروا واحد من خلال هالمزار يلي بيجمع باريس ولبنان ولكن كمان بيجمع الامنه مريم العذراء يلي كانت موجوده بهالمكان بالزيد بكنيسه مريوحنا المعمدان وزدنا عليها القديس شربل يلي هو معروف انه بتعبده حبه واكرامه لامنه مريم العذراء ليش مر شربل الكاهن هي فكره شخصيه بتعبر عن شيء كثير مهم يعني احنا بنقول عاده وراء كل رجل عظيم امراه أنا بقول وراء كل كاهن عظيم امرأة وإربانة مكسورة مشان هيك عم نشوف قدي شربل في عنده امرأة يلي هي مريم أم الكاهن وأم الكنيسة يلي عادة بشفاعتها وبالكتاب المقدس لعبت دور كهنوتة كتير كبير من خلال حملة ليسوع المسيح وأعطاء إياه للعالم من خلال شهادتها للقيامة وبذات الوقت من خلال شفعتها الدائمة وحضورها بالكنيسة من خلال وجودها بعلية صهيون يوم العنصرة وبذات الوقت الكاهن هو معروف بنكل كخبز يؤكل مثل ما بقول الأب أنتوان دو شوفرية هالخبز الذي يؤكل معبر عنه من خلال هالأربين المكسورة اللي حملها مار شربل بتمثيلنا اليوم يلي جسده بشكل مبدع ورائع الفنان اللبناني رودي رحمي مار شربل الكاهن عم نشوفه حامل الأربانة والكاس مثل ما بيحمل كل كاهن ماروني خلال القداس هالأربانة والكاس بوقت الرسم والنضح ورفعة الكاس يلي بترمس لموت وقيامة المسيح وأكيد مار شربل حبينا من خلال هاللفتة نكون عم نضوي على ناحية عادة من حياته ما كتير بتبين من خلال الفن وخصوصا بالتماثيل يلي هي كهنوت مار شربل يلي عاش اكثر من 39 سنه من عمره ككاهن وككاهن هو دوره يوصل المسيح للعالم وهون بنشوف انه ليش اعاجيب مار شربل الكثيره هي عاده موجوده بس كمان تكمله للكهنوت يلي كان عم بيعيشوا على الارض يوم كان معنا من خلال اعطائه ليسوع يسوع المسيح لكل انسان بحاجه له. 
اكيد بحب بس ضوي على كم فكره موجوده بتمثيلنا تمثيل مرشر الكاهن يلي مش موجودين دائما وين ما كان مثل ما قلنا اول شيء الكيس والارباني هن رمز لا يسوع المسيح قربونه هي كلمه يلي بتعبر عن الافخارستيه والكاهن سر الافخارستيه عنده هو الاساس يلي بخلي يكفي بكهنوته بذات الوقت بنشوف مار شربي الكاهن واقف على اجريه على الارض مثل كل كاهن عاده مدعو يكون متواضع نوعا ما يعيش مثل ما بقول بابا فرانسيس وعنده ريحه القطيع معه كراعي للقطيع ولكن كمان بنشوفه كانه طاير وهذا الشيء بيرمز على الانخطاف اكثر من حاله انخطاف عيشه مار شربي خلال حياته على هالارض بذات الوقت كمان منشوفه مش حامل الكيس والارباني بشكل مرتفع كثير وانما بشكل منحني صوب الاخر لانه بذات الوقت هو عم بيعطي يسوع المسيح بعده لكل انسان كل انسان بيطلع بتمثيل مرشر بالكاهن بحس كانه مدعو انه يلتقى بيسوع المسيح يلي عم بقدم له اياه مرشر بال ومرشر بال مثل ما بنعرف مثل كل قديس ما بحب انه كل الانظار تتوجه له وانما تتوجه للاساس يلي هو يسوع المسيح. وبالنهايه بحب انه كمان ضوي على فكره انه مار شربل الكاهن آه وجوده بسنه معروفه بامريكا يوكاريستيك ريفايفل كرمال نرجع نجدد ايماننا بالحضور الحقيقي ليسوع المسيح بالافخارستيه حبينا كمان نكون بهيدي السنه عم نضوي على فكره كهنوت مار شربل لانه كتار بفكر انه مار شربل لانه منضوي على حياته كحبيس كان قاعد لوحده لمده 23 سنه بالمحبسه ولكن لا ما كان لوحده لان كان كل يوم عم بي عم بيحتفل بسر الافخارستيه مار شربل كان معه حاضر جسديا يسوع المسيح كل يوم خلال 23 سنه كان عايشها بالمحبسه فهيدي هي فكرتنا من خلال هالمزار وهذا الشيء بخلينا نكون عم نفتخر لانه قصه مزار مار شربل الكاهن بهالضيعة الصغيرة اللي اسمها باريس بويسكونسن هي قصة إيمان إيمان جماعة صغيرة نحن إرسالية مارشربل نطلع حوالي ال 15 ل 20 عائلة ما نكتر بالعدد ولكن إيمان هالجماعة إيمان كتير كبير خلينا نوصل لهالنتيجة هي قصة رجاء لأنه بالنهاية الفكر الإنساني أو الفكر العلماني والواقعي بدلنا أنه بخلال 15 شر عائلي ما فيكم تعملوا شيء مع شفاعة القديس شربل وعناية ربنا درنا نوصل نعمل شيء كتير حلو وبذات الوقت هو قصة محبة محبة تلقط جماعتين يلي هي جماعة مار شربل المارونية وجماعة مار يوحنا المعمدان اللاتينية لكن يومنا هو يوم تاريخي بامتياز مبسوطين لأنه فعلا عم نكلل إيماننا ورجينا ومحبتنا للرب يسوع من خلال هالمزار واكيد بنشكر كل اللي ساعدوا بتحقيق هالمزار وعلى راسهم راعينا سياده المطران الياس عبد الله زيدان راعي ابرشيه سيده لبنان للموارنه بلوس انجلوس يلي نحن بنتبع له واكيد بركه كمان رئيس اساقفه ملواكي جيروم ليستاكي يلي اثنيناتهم بحضورهم اليوم معنا كانوا عم بفرجونا قد المحبه والسبورت الدفع المعنوي يلي بيعطونا اياه هن اساس كمان تقدر نكفي نوصل رسالتنا للعالم كله رساله الكنيسه الكاثوليكيه برئتيها الشرق والغرب. ثانك يو.